Hello and welcome to a very special episode of the Playing Favorites. Paul, do you know what this is? Do you know what this is? It looks like it's from the future, Justin. Describe it it? Describe it to our <laughs> listeners that can't see it, because obviously they don't go to our Patreon page and listen watch our videos. It honestly looks like a piece of Stormtrooper armor. Okay. Um, I know that's like kind of like a dark blue, right, on the bottom? Uh, no, it's black. Or is it black? That's, that's yeah. black. There's a light. There's a blue. There's a bluish up. light. If you can't, I don't know if it's washed out. Ah, that's what I'm seeing. Yeah. There's like a bluish light there, right in the little crease there, in the, in the cracks. Mm-hmm. Feels nice. Looks really cool. Um, looks really cool. Looks a lot like the PS4 controller, just a little bit more rounded. And oh, you gave it away. We we were going really good without saying what it was. <laughs> oh. Why well, didn't I, I said it looks kind of like the PS4 controller, but it could be anything. I guess. Plus I guess. Earth. Right. <laughs> I am holding in my hand a PS5 controller. Yes. Um And we're, we're recording this episode. I don't even know where, where you're going to hear it or where you're going to listen to it because we were supposed to record a completely different episode. But I I think this is like the normal fashion for when we record yep. this episode. Excitement. We, we find something else to talk about. We were supposed to talk about comic books again. But then I got a, but then I got a PlayStation 5. So, so here we are. If yep. you didn't, if you didn't know who we, who are we, Paul? Why are we here? <laughs> well, normally, Justin, this is the show where we <laughs> uh, talk about um, our favorite things across a variety of topics. Uh, every week, we pick a category, do some research, and try to figure out why we like something so much. Um, we've got lots of bonus stuff too, as you mentioned. You know, we're we're working on bonus episodes every month, and uh, where can they find that stuff, Justin? Over on our Patreon page, so you can actually see videos of our stuff over there too. And yes. we we we've done bo- lots of actually bonus content. It keeps filling up. It's it's filled to the brim of of goodness. I don't know what you want to call it, <laughs> but uh, yeah, go over and check it out. Uh, we we want to thank uh, all of our other patrons that actually help us out over there too, um, like Mac Forty Bake Painting and Josh Benoit, and all of our other honorable mentions as well. Uh, thank you for your support yes. over there. Uh, you make Thank these you things happen. No, you did not help me buy this PlayStation Five. I did this by myself. But <laughs> yes, we will we will provide you content with it. This is this is a big big part of that. We didn't use our vast profits to <laughs> buy a, a PS Five. I think a lot of other uh, uh, podcasters out there or influencers, if you would, they have to say like uh, provided by PlayStation whenever they do a review. Mm-hmm. We did not get this provided by PlayStation. Nope. But if you're listening, PlayStation, please, <laughs> whatever you want, I'll do it. Uh, but anyways, Justin, so we're going to, instead of talking about our favorite thing or favorite like topic, we're, we're going to kind of hit on some first impressions here, right? No. What, uh, what, do you, what do you like about it the most so far from just playing around with it? Um, well, I mean, the first thing I want to say, I've only had this for two days. So, like, my impressions are very, course, very fresh and very, very new. <laughs> They are the first. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, my my favorite thing so far is is obviously this thing. I mean, I think everyone says it um, online. I mean, every everything this thing. I mean, the controller that I'm holding up to the camera. Yes. Um, yes. Like a it's it's thing. it's kind of funny though because like when you when I when I, when I did my unboxing, like I grabbed the it's like the first thing you do is like you get the box out, you look at it. Can't really do anything with it yet, so I get the controller. I'm like, obviously, you gotta do like the, the grip test, right? You gotta mm-hmm. kind of grab it. And I really didn't like where the triggers were. It just like felt weird. Like if you, they like they're just like. Let me see if I show you the camera here a little bit. Like they're kind of yeah. like like lifted up a little higher than I'm used to. Oh really? They're, they're yeah. like a, they're like a little higher. So like when I was holding it like this, my this these these fingers, my index fingers just felt awkwardly higher than I'm used to feeling them. Oh, it's like the it's it's the weirdest feeling, honestly. Like it just kind of felt weird. I'm like, I don't know if I'd like this, but I'm not playing the game, so it's like I'm just there trying to like keep the form, and then like I'm just kind of holding my index finger like normal, not pushing the button really that much. Like right now, I'm pushing it and stuff like that. But um, so it was weird at first, but otherwise it felt nice. The you know to give you my guess, my first impressions of the controller feel is like the there's like a different kind of uh, grip to it. It's not that like kind of weird like it's it's not like fake rubbery. It's like the it, like I know my PS4 controller the rubber just kind of came off after like a year or two. Like it was just it was gone. But like here it's just like kind of has a nice kind of grip to it. But otherwise it just feels like a normal controller. 
I mean, I don't really have much else to say besides that it's not heavy. Um, it looks it looks heavier it looks heavier than it is. But but yeah, that's my favorite thing so far is this guy, and it's not just like the holding of it. Uh, it's just the it's that feature that they put in here the haptic feedback and the the, yeah. the, the way the rumble handles and I'm sure I'll talk about that more. But uh, yeah, that's so far my favorite thing is this is this thing here. Awesome, awesome. All right. Well, Justin. Um, if you were to say what is the weirdest thing you've encountered so far, I wouldn't say like what's the worst thing or like weirdest don't you thing. like, but like what's the strangest thing you've kind of come across? Um, I, mean, I don't know. I mean, I I don't really have an answer for that one. I guess. <laughs> what about that platformer we were? I was watching you play a little bit of. Oh, I mean, uh, that's that's fun. I mean, I don't want to call it weird. I mean, I, honestly, the weirdest thing that I've played on the PlayStation Five is Bug Snacks. I mean, that's like the is the is is such an odd odd game, and I love it to what do. Is it? All right, so that's all. That's all I've really played of the on PlayStation Five is this is this freaking game. It's called Bug Snacks. Is it um, exactly what the name says it is? Is it just the eating of bugs? Ah, uh, Bug Snacks, because they're not bug nor snack. They're Bug Snacks. Okay. <laughs> uh, so Bug Snacks is a PlayStation exclusive game. Uh, and you got it for free with a PlayStation Plus if you have a PS5. Like that's like the requirement is you have okay. a PlayStation Five okay. to get it. I happened to get it like the last day that they were giving it out too. So I got my PS5 on Sunday, which is a fun story in itself. But I'm sure we'll get to that. And so the like, first thing I do when I turn on the system is. Is I look at you know I, I look through the menus and things like that, but I'm like I got to download some games while I'm doing this. So I get Astro's Astro's Playroom, which is the robot game that you saw. Uh, that's already pre-installed, so like you can play that right away. But Bug Snacks was something I just wanted to like get on there because it's like really a, like the new game of the system for me because I wasn't planning on buying any new systems, so mm-hmm. don't expect any kind of uh, impressions of Demon Souls or Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Yeah, uh, not yet, anyway. Um, but I wanted to get like some sort of new game, so I put Bug Snacks. And I, I've known about this game for some time because there's a podcast that is obsessed with this game. They talk about it all the time. Had a nice little theme song when they announced it back at E, uh, well, whatever E3 was this year, the PlayStation announcement of the PlayStation Five. Uh, <clears throat> Bug Snacks is pretty much a mixture of Pokemon, Mist, uh, mur- a murder mystery, and Muppets. I really don't know. I don't know how to because all the characters look like Muppets. They all look like Muppets, or, or they call them. They actually are called Grumps. That's what they. Grumps. They're actually called <laughs> Grumps in the game. Isn't that oh, what they call? Good. Isn't that what they call those in the Muppet the the monsters? Are they called Grumps or something like that? I thought they were. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. The, the monsters, but yeah, they're called. They're just it's like just such a cute name. Yeah, but like so, it's it, the the game is literally you're a journalist going to this island. It's all voice actors of different characters and things like that. Um, and this island is full of bug snacks. These these uh, bugs that are literally just food, but they have like puns to them. So like strabby is like a name of a strawberry bug snack, or uh, there's a uh, 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 mega maki. It's like a gigantic dragon like maki creature, <laughs> like a okay. maki roll, okay. like things like that. So like, and the whole Our... premise of the game is to capture all the bug snacks. Is to like capture them. So you can feed them to the the, the residents of, of Snack Tooth Island. And when you feed them, it, it alters their body and genetics. And so they'll get like a hot dog leg or a, 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 or like a, a strawberry hand or a grape tooth. Uh, but like the, you don't really know where the, there's actually like sort of like an archaeology kind of thing to it. Because there was like original like uh, civilizations that used to live on this island. And you're trying to find the missing uh, adventure like, that's gone missing and it's destroyed the village. Like the village is kind of like arg- is not arguing all the time and you're trying to mediate all the residents. So they, they send you on little quests like go collect two, two strawby and one, uh, you know, maki roll or something like that. Like uh, and then you feed it to them and then it causes things to happen. I don't know what what it is about this game that clicked. I think that my kids like watch me play it, too. So that's sort of a nice thing that does have like a kin friendly sort of a vibe to it but uh it looks so cute yeah it really is very but it, but honestly it has like sort of mature sort of thing to it it's not like it's not the dialogue though is not cute 
it's very like uh like they talk about like some really like deeper deeper things i mean i wouldn't say it's like it's like rated m for mature but there's like a lot of like subtext and like like you know marriage problems and uh you know <laughs> things like things like that you're like trying so it's to like, it's like an, it sounds like uh animal crossing when everyone talks about tom nook being like a gangster yeah it's like that that kind of like oh these people are developing relationships and they're like these cute creatures, but there's this terrible there's underlying. Like, there's this horrible animosity between some of these characters. Like some of them hate each other. Like they're just like so mean to each other. It's like you have like the, they all have like different stereotypes. So it's like one's the farmer that's like his, he, he like argue with his wife all the time. Who's an archeologist that doesn't want to go back to the farm. Cause she wants to go dig things. You got like, uh, you got like the, 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 the singer that once had a had like a hit record, and now she but she accidentally made up this hit record, so she can't like she can't progress her career because she doesn't know how to make music. So she went to snack take she, she went to the island for like inspiration. It's like all these little like character types that are really hilarious and just entertaining. And I don't know, it's something. There's something about the game. I think I'm almost done with it too. Like I, all I've done with this game is play this game, all I've done with the PlayStation 5 is play this freaking game. So I don't know how much of an impression of the PlayStation 5 I can give today, but I thought it'd be fun to talk about because it's a really awesome system uh, aside yeah. from that. I just want to say, like, as we're, as you're telling me about it here, I'm looking it up and, and it says, like, it's possibly the weirdest, most interesting PS5 game released yet. Mm -hmm. Just because yeah. of, I mean, I'm looking at it, it's so, like, it's amazing animation and it's kind of, disturbing like what you're describing like put onto this sounds like terrifying you know these kinds of but, cute creatures having yeah. really terrible human problems yeah and then the the the, the um the, the bug snacks are hilarious because they all talk like pokemon like you know they say their name right, right. yeah so like there's uh <laughs> there's one of them that's i just i laugh like every time it shows up it's just like a hamburger with like curly fried legs and it's called a bunger. And and it just goes bunger, 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 bunger. It's all it does. It's just like it's just like it's like it just makes me giggle. It's like and then like there's a frider, which is just like fries in a can that looks like a spider. Okay. So it's like a yes, can. Yes, think, I've think seen of, that picture. Yep. And it goes frider, frider, right? It's like it sounds like Scyther from Pokemon. <laughs> and it's so like, it's like <laughs> just a bunch of Pokemon that like people made up making fun of Pokemon. Yeah, but like it's not like the gameplay Friday. is nothing like Frider because you're just you're just honestly it's a, kind of like a puzzle game. So like you get like you have a trap and then you like can lay the trap and then some of them are really easy. You just have to just put the trap there and then you you can see their like kind of their path that they walk and then. You just have to close the trap the second they walk in it. But other ones need, like, some sort of attention. So you collect, like, different sauces. So, like, you collect, like, ketchup and ranch and and uh, well, well, peanut butter, uh, like, cheese sauce. And, like, different bug snacks, like, are attracted to, like, say, the fryer is going to attract to ketchup because it like ketchup. Right? And there's some, some of them just don't like certain sauces either so like you have to like get and then sometimes you have to get them to like almost like attack each other like like the, there's um there's these things called the spuddies they're pretty much a baked potato that look like that look like uh crabs or like a scorpion so it's like a think of a think of a baked oh. potato but like with but with a with, with, with like, like a crab like scorpion creature. yes i can see i can see a picture of it yes yeah and then they you have to like get them in the same area the same kind and then they attack each other and then they knock each other out so you can catch it with a net um, so like, it's just, it's just, it's just silly things, but then there's like secret things you can find. There's like, there's like secret, like, uh, bug snacks. And this is really like turning into the bug snacks conversation. I'm sorry. I know we got to talk about the PlayStation 5, but. But I mean, we can talk all day about the specs of the PS5 and what it can and can't do. If it doesn't have for. good games, it's yeah. not going to be a good system. And it yeah. sounds like this is a really good game. So. Yeah. Yep, I'm I mean, all for talking about bug snacks because this game you, looks amazing. You can get it on the PlayStation Four technically. It's not like that's the thing about this generation. I'm gonna kind of segue into is like, I really love the PlayStation Five. There's a reason I wanted to get one, obviously, because I'm a big PlayStation fan. But like, I just my PS4 died or just stopped working in July, 
So like yeah. accessing all my games wasn't a thing. So like that's like kind of like the best other feature is it's like it seems like such a common sense thing, but the fact that back backwards compatibility just works so simply. Yep. Yep. It, it, it's like it's so seamless. Yeah, like I mean there's been some weird things I've read, like some saves don't carry them over and it's kinda of confusing, but I feel like people just don't try hard enough. They they yeah, almost like, like they almost you know <laughs> <laughs> it's not too hard to figure out. I mean, like if you're, I mean, it's based it's based on like a Windows kind of model, right? Like you can figure out how to copy a profile or move well, it no, over you, the way you're supposed to, like, like or migrate it or assign li- it. Literally, I just logged in, and yeah. it, noticed, it knew my collection of PlayStation Four, and then all my sense. games, all my games were already cloud saved anyway, like all the save files. So I think just some people weren't doing that. So then if you didn't do that, there's a way to transfer from system to system, which I'm yep. glad I did that because I wouldn't have had that option because my PS4 had died. So like how would I have done that anyway? Right? Yeah, so you like have been able to. So yeah. it's a good thing you did have the cloud save. But even yeah. even even the even the same token, I'm like if I lost my save, I still would have been okay. I was like I I didn't lose my game. I'll just mm-hmm. replay it. Like um yeah. I, you Seriously, know, I'm, it's like there's worse fates. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but that's that's been the most amazing thing is just going through and just re- reinstalling older games. This is kind of why I didn't really jump out and buy like Miles Morales or or Demon Souls, which is Demon Souls really is the only true, um, I guess PlayStation Five exclusive. But that's the weird thing is like all these games are kind of cross gen, so like you can get Miles Morales even though it's better on the PlayStation Five, mm-hmm. and there's a PlayStation Five version of it. You could still buy the game too. The only game you can't get is Demon's Demon Souls. That's it. That's the only one I can think of. Well, and Astro's Playroom. So, I'm looking at Demon Souls now. I, it's been a while since I've looked at these images because I remember when it was announced. That's a remake Man. too. That came yeah. out on the PlayStation Three like uh, 10, 10, 12 years ago. I'm not sure where, but. Demon Souls is very like uh, for, for the gameplay you played. Uh, it's kind of similar to well, it's what created that kind of genre, Dark Souls and all that stuff. But mm-hmm. um, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order is sort of that kind of vibe of gameplay. Yep. yep. Um, which um, that's the other thing I did is I loaded up God of War again. I loaded up Jedi Fallen Order and God, it looks gorgeous. Like it just it looks so good. <laughs> <laughs> and Grant, I'm coming to ask from... you that quality. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, like, crazy. And again, I, I, I didn't have a PlayStation Pro, so I, my jump's been bigger than some people because they went from a Pro to this. But, mm-hmm. but yeah, that's that. That's what I've been kind of liking the most uh, so far. Right, man. Oof. Once you see it, it's hard to unsee. Like when it's super high frame rate like that. Yeah. Like, it's hard to uh, go back to what you were used to. But, no, I mean, did you see, like, the, I mean, just the sheer artwork in Demon Souls, like... Yeah, it looks amazing. Like, remastering it, it's amazing. The ogre in the, uh, one of the early levels, I forget. But, yeah, it looks great. Yeah, no, Is that, that going to be your first uh, purchase, you think? Or are you I don't know. Like, towards the Miles Morales? Um, this is like, I'm, like, conflicted. Like, it's like, Miles Morales would be cool, because I can get both games in one, because I haven't played the first one. Yeah. But, like, that's also a deterrent, because, like, nah, let's play two games. Like, My- Miles Morales is, isn't as long, but, like, the, the, I kind of, like, am curious about yeah. Demon's Souls, even though I've, like, I've actually loaded that game up once on the PS3 and played it for, like, an hour. I'm like, I don't really know if I like this. Because it was, like, I died in, like, three seconds. And I was just like, I yep. don't know what to do. Uh, I don't know if I really like this. Uh, I'm gonna turn it off, and then I just moved on to something else. But this one looks gorgeous, and looks well. By gorgeous, I mean like uh, just. That, I think it would showcase the the true power of what PlayStation Five is. But it's seventy dollars. I just yeah. like. I mean, I know I get that. Like, I'm surprised that pricing of games have been hasn't gone up. And I don't know. Well, we joke about how Batman Forever was seventy dollars, but um... <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. Since it's crept uh, back up to this price, yeah. But. So I mean, it is what it is. But like, I just uh, I wasn't prepared to buy this console. Like, I it literally, it wasn't like something that I was planning to get this weekend. It just kind of, yeah. it just kind of happened. 
So were you like, what happened? How did you actually? Because you had to go. Um, yeah. Early? I, did you go to like when the store opened? Tell me, tell me what happened. Okay, so I've been trying to find it online with no luck. I mean, I don't know. I, I know you weren't really trying, but like, if you did try, uh, like you'd like go to the sites. You know, certain times to be there. You try to click it in the cart, and it would like let it add to cart, but then it would error out and glitch and all this stuff. And uh, the, getting a PS5 has been a struggle, like a third world problem struggle, I guess, or first world problem. Whatever, whatever, that, whatever that phrase is. Definitely first world. Yeah, Definitely not third world. world. Yeah, not third world. <laughs> um, so I, I kind of, I, I honestly just had given up on it. Like I was just like, ah, because I, I, I read that they, they weren't coming to stores. Like, that's what it, everyone had even said to me after I got this. Like, they aren't going to be coming to the store. You have to buy them online. But then I happen to know an assistant manager at the Walmart near my house. Like, I just, I we watched their son. I, I'm not really friends with this dude. Um, I, I'm more, my wife is more friends with his wife. Um, so you're like well, adjacent. You're like friend adjacent. Yeah, it's it's sort of a weird thing. I don't know how much in detail I can need to. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. You're like, let, hey, yeah, let like, me just. I'll you. just say that his, his, my friend, the, the 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 assistant manager's wife, does not live in the same city. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and we watched her son for him. It's very yes. confusing. Anyways, yeah. um, he told her, which then told Amber that there's gonna be PS fives this weekend at that Walmart. And I guess they had 400 on Saturday and they were gone in 30 minutes. Holy moly. Yeah. So like, I'm like, Oh cool. That's great. But I guess they were going to have some on Sunday. So like, I'm like, wow, that's pretty awesome. I guess I'll go there. And he, he told us to go be there. He goes, we're going to hand out tickets at 10, uh, be there at nine 30. Okay. But then I, Kind of let my friend know that's in the area that wanted a PS5 that couldn't get one. He's like, hey, do you want to come with me? Because there's going to be PS5s here. He's like, well, let me know how many are going to be there. I'm not going to go there if there's only five. You know, I was like, why waste my time if there's only going to be a few? But then I found out there was going to be 50 that day. I'm like, that's not a decent roll of the dice. That's pretty That's pretty good. Yeah, and yeah. then, like, so I'm like, I, we asked him, like, should we get there earlier? Because Walmart opens at 7. So he's like, yeah, Joe, my, fr- my friend is like, we're going to meet there at 7. So I get up at like 6.30 in the morning. It's like the earliest I've woken up since March. Um, <laughs> 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 well, not the earliest, but like to go somewhere, I guess is what I kind of mean. Because like I don't usually go to work because I work from home. Um, but it's like I'm all motivated. I get in the shower and then like Amber, and then Amber's like, yeah, J- uh, the, guy, the, the guy at the store is like um, – he texted me. He said, "There's like over 50 people waiting in line already." It's like, oh man, really? Well, I guess I'm not gonna get one. Oh well. And uh, then he like texts back like 15 minutes later, like, "Hang tight. I'm gonna try to get Justin one. I'm gonna try to secure one for him, or something like that." Oh man. And so I'm like, well, I guess I'll just go because he didn't really explain what I needed to do next. So I'll just go over there. So yeah, I get, yeah. I get, I get Get's to the Walmart one. Which I never go to Walmart either, which is kind of funny. So I, I never, it's like weird to even be in the store. And I just see a line from an electronics all the way, like it goes. Like, so their electron, you know, electronics and Walmarts are usually what in the back middle, right? Yep. So We're like back there. you go, you're looking at it, you go, it, it went to the right and then down the side perimeter all the way to the front of the store. Hmm. <laughs> so, Man. um, yeah. I don't even know how these people found out about it. I thought we were getting like some sort of like uh, tip or something or a good lead, and somehow everyone knows about well, it. All the other employees leaked it out to their friends and family. Like, hey, there's gonna be a PS5 here. I guess. I mean, he seemed to be the only one that knew it though, because he did the ordering or something. And I, honestly, I don't even know how, why this Walmart was selling them in the store because my friend that was supposed to come with me, he's like, I'll just check the one near me and see if they have any. And then they're like, Yeah, we didn't get any PS5s. So how come this one did? I, I don't even know. And that's the weirdest thing. Um, so I get I so I, I'm like, I guess I'll go wait in line and then I go to walk in line and I run into the into the dude that I know there. The assistant manager he just walk he's just coming he just like sort of like pops out of an aisle and he just like uh-huh. is right there. I was like, Oh hi hi <laughs> I don't even know how we're both it's like he's like he's like he's like and he gets like, Hey, come here. 
I'm, I'm over here. I'm like, okay, okay, what? <laughs> you're like, all right, okay, I think I, I think I, I texted I texted Amber. It's like, I think I know I can get you one. Um, you just gotta you gotta go. You can just go home, and I'll let you know if I can get you one. Like, but it's on the DL. It's on the DL. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> subterfuge. <laughs> like a spy novel come true <laughs> so i'm like the maltese ps5 yeah so it, it, this is where it gets it starts getting really good so i i'm like okay i guess i'll just go home again i just really come to terms and like oh, what's he gonna do like i because I, I told him like don't i'm like don't break your back to get me a ps5 it's not that big of a deal trust me it's okay right, right? It's like, like don't uh, it's don't right, dude. don't like lose your job or anything seriously <laughs> like secret agent man getting you a ps5 um, and, and trust me, like I, I, I know he doesn't listen to this show. I don't think he ever will. But if you are, if you ever do, thank you. I, I, I appreciate everything you've yeah, done. Yeah, good on you, man. But That's you didn't have nice. to do it. That's my point. Um, very nice. Um, so I'm like, I text, I text Amber. I was like, well, I guess I'm, I guess I'll go grocery shopping. I'm in Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, there's not really many people here. And, and so I go get some groceries. And you know, an hour later, I go, I go back to, to go back home. And it's like almost nine thirty by that point. And then he, the second I bring the groceries in, he's like, he calls my wife because he doesn't even have my number. He's just, I'm like getting the information filtered through people yep, through a proxy. <laughs> it's his prime driller here. <laughs> well, it's got to go through different channels. It doesn't lead back to him, right? It's got to. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> he's got Amber under the bright lights. What did he call you about? <laughs> Well, first it was like it was like me, like her going through his wife, who then went to him, and it's like can you, like, and then she comes back to her and to me, like, well, what can you ask her what time I'm supposed to be there? Uh, he doesn't really know. Well, where am I supposed to go in the store? Do I go to electronics? Do I go to? Is there a line? Can I go in the store? I don't even know because of restrictions and COVID. I mean. What's going on? <laughs> and then Anything. he's like, and then she's like, go to go to sporting goods. I'm like, okay, that seems a weird place to go, but I guess that's where I'll head, which is right next to the the electronics, I guess, in this this Walmart. But like, it was just kind of a weird thing. But anyway, so I get home, he calls her, so I'm like, oh, I see his name, and I'm like, hey Jim, uh, Bo, <laughs> um, uh. I was I was trying to like change his name, um, but <laughs> oh, you mean his name is not Jimbo? <laughs> uh, Jimbo. <laughs> um, go on. Anyways, um, so I I come to uh, you know I answer the phone and stuff like that, and then he he's like, yeah, get over here as soon as you can. I can get you one. I'm like, o- okay, all right. Where 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 do I go? <laughs> he's like, uh, just uh, just go to like electronics. I'll, I'll find you. <laughs> like, like okay um so, for exchange here or something so i go to electronics and i see him he's like on the phone behind like the i, I guess they still have a, a, a photo department in walmart but yep. to print photos yep. and uh he's on the phone so i just kind of like float around there pretend i'm just looking at my phone just because that's what people do in the stores now they just you know they text people and uh i mean i was just texting people and uh he finally just like he's like sort of like sneak he just like slowly kind of appears next to me uh, and he's like yeah i uh i i, I think he, he's like i bought my own but then i guess if they found out if i kept it i was gonna get fired but i couldn't understand him because because he, he had a mask on too like so it was like all mumbled he's like here just take this ticket and you'll, you're good to go you got one like okay so did you God. give did me did you give me yours is that what just happened like, I wasn't even sure if, like, he just, like, kind of gave me the one he bought so he didn't get, like, he wouldn't get fired. Uh, or I don't even know. I, I don't even care. Like, it, this is what happened. And so... He, he might have bought it for you thinking, like, oh, okay, like, I'll buy it and he'll reimburse me. Well, I think he just what? bought... Yeah, I think... Well, no, he, he didn't pay for it. It's just... I He was saying, like, he, maybe he returned it after the fact. Because they thought... That's what I, I, he didn't really clarify oh, okay. all that. I was just trying to, I'm, I'm personally just filling in the gaps, but he was trying to say like, oh yeah, I, they told me I, if I, I, I tried to buy my own and they said if I, I kept it, I would get fired. So I'm like, that's like, that's kind of BS. I mean, like, 
I get it. It's like insider information, I guess. I don't know. Mm-hmm. But insider uh, trading. Um, but yeah, but he was telling me a story, like to kind of segue. I know it's a long one to serve, but it's fun. I guess the day before with the 400 PS4s, a family of 11 came in together. Each of them bought one and then went in the parking lot and sold them each for 1250 each. 1250? Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Like, I, I just, I don't understand, like, people's impatience for this thing. I mean, I understand, like, like, I get maybe pay, like, an extra $200 just to get one for your kid for Christmas if you, if you have the money. You know, if you really want, if you can just, like, oh, throw 200 bucks to, to the person that, that was clicking really fast online. Mm-hmm. But seriously, 1250 Damn. Go, go buy a computer. <laughs> oh, my God. 1250 man. Yeah, for a $500 machine. It's, like, over double the price. It's nuts. But anyways, yes. um, he gives Yuck. me the he gives me the ticket. He's like, okay, Yuck. just 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 wait till the the line dies down a little bit, and just go up there and give you a ticket. But he was so quick about it, I kind of was like, okay, like I just sort of like nodded my head and just okay, I guess I just go walk around the store for a little bit. And I walk around the store because I saw them handing out PS fives. Like this is why I'm like while I'm talking to him, like they're like giving PS fives out to the line that was there. And, uh, and, but when I come back from walking around, there's still like a bunch of people waiting in line, but no PS5s are coming out. So I'm like, ah, there wasn't like a ton. There's like maybe like 15 or 20 people. And I'm, so I'm like, I guess I'll just stand at the end of the line because I don't know what else to do. And so I just stood there and then, and people are just like, and then some guy comes behind me. He's like, uh, he starts like asking me questions. Hey, do you know how many they have? I'm like, I don't know how many they have left. And like, like, uh, uh, is this a line? I'm like, yeah. I was like, yeah, I just got here. I don't. I don't know anything. I really. I just. I, I'm just trying to get a PS5. And then, and then, like all of a sudden, the guy that I know, like after ten minutes of waiting, he comes up to the group of people. He's like, "Who here has a ticket?" And everyone looks around, like, and I looked at somebody near me. I'm like, "What did he say?" Who he said he has some. He has a ticket. I'm like, "Well, I, I have a ticket." And then everyone looks at me. He's like, "He has a ticket. He has a ticket." <laughs> I got a golden ticket. <laughs> <laughs> so I, 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 I walk up to the dude. And he's like, oh, you have, and he looks at me and he's like, he, obviously he knows who I am. He's like, you have a ticket? I'm like, yep, I have a ticket. It's like, okay, you go, you go up the line and he just like directs me to the, where I needed to go. <laughs> oh my gosh. But here's the best part. I'm not done. It, he, I go up to the line and I give the guy the ticket and the guy, the kid looked confused. He's like, oh, I guess you do have a ticket. Okay. So he goes and he's like, get your PS5s back there. But we don't want to cause a scene because I had the last one. And, oh, my gosh. And so he's like, just go browse around the store and then come back. I'm like, okay. And no one was leaving. They were all just, like, confused or, like, like dumbfounded that there was none left and just, yeah, like, waiting yeah. for something to happen or something, I guess. I don't know. And just, they're all looking at me like, how did he get a ticket? Why didn't we get a ticket? There was one guy that came up to me. He's like, where did you buy the ticket? When did you get it? I, I don't understand. Why do you have a ticket? I'm like, oh, I came here way earlier. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah. I didn't know what to tell this guy. <laughs> so finally, I get my Holy. get my PS5, pay for it. Uh, after a little while waiting, people are still, like, people are finally filtering away a little bit. And but they they had some Walmart employee some some lady like I, I'm just gonna call her Barb. Uh, she she escorts me out the store, and she's like I don't even know why they asked her. It's like she's like why is everyone such a what's such a big deal? And the kid the kid that's selling it's like this is like the tickle me Elmo for the year. Like she's like really I have a PS4. What's the big deal? <laughs> like, I'm like I oh, yeah I don't know. So I walk out the store and. I remember, like, Amber was texting me while I'm uh, waiting to get my PS5, and she's like, well, while you're there, um, could you just get, like, a couple of more things? I'm like, I don't think I can. I got a beeline out of here. I, I don't think I'm going to be I'm able to use this. escorted out by Barb. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being personally taken out of the store at the moment. Uh, I'll stop at Target. <laughs> so that that's my story. I hope that was entertaining of how I got my PlayStation 5. Um, it was like a spy thriller, <laughs> and that, that guy turned up dead the next day. 
<laughs> like floating in a river. <laughs> oh my god. It's like a mafia hit. Oh, oh man, it, it's um, <laughs> it was fun. But no, I get home and everyone's all excited and like we we hook up. The thing's gigantic. Like I mean, I was like the 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 Tower of Sauron, I think you called it. Um, uh, it's like, like I knew it was big, but when you just see it just sitting on the table, it's just like, why is this so big? <laughs> you just <laughs> like ask you. big. <laughs> It's like I think I'm thinking like oh I could put I have a TV stand that has like a vertical slot like right in the middle it's like usually meant for like a subwoofer I just never use it for that I'm like it's gotta fit in there it's that thing that's a big big area and I try to slide it like nope too tall I can't I can't oh can't get it in there I'm like I'm like I could have put it on the side and maybe fit in one of my other slots but then I heard that you need a lot more ventilation for this thing and I have that back I, so. I have the back panel. So I didn't want to like put it in there with all the air going out the, you know, there was no holes. Sure, sure. And so I have a little stand for right now. I don't really know if I like it there because I'm just like, oh man, if a ball or some kid from Toy flies, it's just gonna floop. Like I saw a gut- our cat Katara just standing there looking at it, like don't, don't touch it. <laughs> <laughs> hey cat, just like I'm gonna touch that thing. I'm gonna sleep on top of that. <laughs> Be nice and warm for a cat. Well, that's that's my story. PlayStation Five, getting it. Uh, is there any any other first impression conver- uh, question or first impression con- questions you have? I guess. Or do you know of any other like uh, big PS Five exclusives that are on the way besides Demon Souls? Uh, Ratchet and Clank. Um, that's a really big one. That looks awesome. Um, I've never really got into the Ratchet Clank games, but the, this one looks really really yeah, good. No, no. Why does it look good? Just like uh, just it looks like a, it looks like you're playing a cartoon. Like I mean, I, I you probably said that in other generations, but the gameplay just looks really, really like awesome, and like it, it really kind of showcases what the PlayStation Five can do. Because like the biggest thing about this new generation, because I mean I follow it, is that it, how it, it it's how it handles finding memory or finding data or whatever. I'm not sure the term they use. So, like, when you play a game nowadays, like, even back from the PS2 era, what they would do is to load portions of the game, they'd make you go in an elevator or, or oh, go through yeah, a, sure. go yeah, through a like hall, your... right? Or, or, like, you know, things like that to kind of, like, okay, let's get rid of this old thing that you were walking around and yep, build the new one. the old data and build the new. So, yeah, it's like, like draw a distance and how much you really want to, like, yeah. so, build them. Supposedly, this generation's going to be a big, like, help change that way of building a game. Like, it's allowing you to find information way faster. It's just the way the, the SSD is designed. Um, it's the way uh, PlayStation 5 is just... Uh, that was a big, big tech thing that Mark Cerny did. At, uh, he's, like, the engineer um, or the architect of the PlayStation... A lot of the PlayStation systems, actually. Mm-hmm. And he was actually discussing that was the reason they built it this way. So, that game... If you watch the demo, it's like, it's like him, it's about going to different dimensions. So like in midst of gameplay, it's like you're, you're grinding, like think of like grinding in Sonic 2, okay? Like just think of that kind of gameplay. So he's grinding on something, all of a sudden like the, the dimension changes and like the whole world is completely different. It looks like you're in a complete, he might be cityscape and then he goes to jungle and then he goes to... It's like it just it like loads all this information really fast. It's it's part of the gameplay. It's not like a video or a movie. Yeah, yeah. And no, I'm, I'm watching some of it now. It's uh, pretty amazing looking. Yeah, seeing it going through these portals. Yeah. Right. Yep. Uh, yeah, this is wild. Like, and th- and this is how the game plays. Yeah. Ooh. So like that that that's gonna be like the first really big true PS5 exclusive. Because, like, a, the sequel to Horizon comes out next year, but that's actually technically not PS5 exclusive. You can get that PS4. So it's like they're they're kind of like... I feel like they're doing that, though, because there are so many PS4s out. Why not make it for both systems? And then just give a better sure. option. I mean, honestly, sure. I think that's just a smart thing to do. It I, is I'm, just like you're, you're paying for quality. You're paying for, like, you want to see it in this kind yeah. of resolution. Like, you want to see it at, like the it, in, like at its finest then mm-hmm. this is what you're going to pay for it. Yeah, and I, I think and it's, then, yeah, it's a good transition. I it's a good transition. Too. Yeah, I think so too. It's not like just expensive for the sake of being expensive. It's you pay for what you're getting. Mm-hmm. No. I'm happy with wow. it so far with my two days of, you know, exploring. Um, 
I'm just going to kind of dive into some other games. I, I There's some other PS4 games I never got a chance to play yet because I was waiting for this. So, like, Final Fantasy VII Remake and Last of Us Part Two. Um, so I have a lot of things to pick out and play. And also, Ghost of Tsushima. Supposedly, there's a, PS, oh. there's a PS5 update for that as well. Um, I can imagine. And I, I think that's going to look gorgeous uh, on this system. So I'm excited to learn more. But right now, I'm playing Bug Snacks. <laughs> <laughs> well... Let's cut away for a little bit and uh, take a break, or shall we say, take a video break? Yeah, let's take a break. We'll be right back. And we're back. Woof. Woof. That was quite the break. Oh, uh, yeah. No, I... Oh. Got, got kind of distracted playing PlayStation 5. Yeah, Sorry. I might have slept. <laughs> I think it, somehow my shirt changed. I don't know how that happened. Seems kind of uh, weird. I mean, yeah, me too, but... <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. Well, Justin, we said we were going to dive into some of the uh, PS5 here. In particular, this game I'm very excited to hear more about and see more of. <laughs> Bug Snack. Yeah. So give us some Bug Snack facts. Well, since I'm, yeah, we're about to, we're about to hop in here, but I, I thought at least, you know, very briefly show you the menu since probably the first time really seeing the PlayStation mm-hmm. 5. There really isn't much to show. Great. That's why, very briefly. But, uh, it's very deep, similar to the uh, PS4, but yeah. I do like the changing background with the uh, with the game. Yeah, I like I liked that it's had that bright blue. I mean, I know you can put themes and stuff like that in the old one, but mm-hmm. it's, it's, actually, mm-hmm. it's actually nice. But if you, put, if you had the game in rest mode, it would actually show up more like this. Like when you log in, you would log in like this. You wouldn't see the menu. Oh, okay. Because it would, like, it would it's... take you like right to where you left off with the game, basically. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's that to me is uh, kind of a cool feature because you mm-hmm. got this little kind of bottom panel, which you can then like you can actually edit and put the things you want to put Ooh, there, which is sort of nice like thing too. That. Um, so I, I like that. I'm getting used to it. There's some weird things about it, but um, I I am liking the the way it's set up. I I miss folders. I'll be quite honest though. I used to use folders a lot. I don't know if you ever did. Uh, uh, a little bit. It's. I just I, I hate having like the line of games. I don't know why. Just, just something. I, I'm not a big fan of it. Then you can see I got all my other old games in here and so forth. But I know that's not the most exciting stuff. Unless there's anything else I, you want to see. Well, no. I just remember that you you like folders so much. I remember the folders on your computer when we were in high school. The way you would hide things. Uh, and folder upon folder upon folder, just uh, just a little this trip is down. Time and line. place, time and place. This is, we're talking about kids. <laughs> we're talking about kid friendly games here today. Let's talk uh, about bug snack. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, is just, it is it kid friendly though? Uh, I mean, kids can watch it. <laughs> there, it, I can say I, I attune it to a Pixar movie. Okay, so like okay. you have like, but like at least maybe a little more adult oriented. I mean, All right, so there's moments of danger and you know fear, uh, maybe more more uh, just uh, more adult topics like like okay. romance and and things like that, and very progressive too. You have like two gay couples in this game. Uh, okay, but wow, I mean, not which, just one but two. Yeah, but like not that that really means anything. I guess it's just like you know thinking of video games like you know 20 years ago. It's progressive, you know, which I like. I appreciate. Even video games ten years ago, yes, yeah, it's uh, definitely but yeah. a step in the right direction. So let's let's jump into it. So um, over over the last over the break, um, which has been a few days, uh, I actually <laughs> platinum this game. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> you platinum it? I can't yeah. believe it. Yeah, I don't know was what it, it very... is. I don't know what it. I, this is like. I think it was just time and place kind of thing. Like I feel like this game came out and I got the PS5 like next year. And then played it, I might have not got sucked in because I would have had something else to play or something just dis- distracting me. But I had yeah. had a PlayStation so long, I'm just like, and there's just something appealing about this game that really kind of hooked me because it's just like uh, that collectathon type of style. But then the, there's like a puzzle element to it. But then, and then there's some there's some interesting characters. The stories, it, the story itself is okay, like the overall bug snack story, I guess. Um, but just the like the small interactions and uh, you, you go around with is really kind of fun. So this is sort of like the gist of it. You walk around third, first person. I'm not sure if you want oh, to describe. It is first person. 
don't know if you want to describe what you're seeing for our, our listeners, obviously. Well, I, I, I just saw what looked like a cheeseburger walk through a stream. So that, uh, is a, that Bunger? That's a Bunger. I don't know if you can hear him okay or not. Bunger, Bunger, Bunger. <laughs> <laughs> so he is cute yeah you had mentioned your love of the bunger yes uh because he just sounds funny it's funny and then when he when he when he yep. gets excited so i'm gonna get my sauces so i'm bringing bring out my toolkit so you can see my toolkit right now yes yes so i got a launch pad launch a, pad. a buggy ball which, it's has, a lunch which pad. has a <laughs> um which has a um a strawby which is a bug snack inside of it think of a gerbil mm-hmm. you know running in a ball oh okay um you got uh you got your your grappling Snack grappler. Yep. Your your slingshot, which is a sauce slinger, a trip shot, and then you got your trap. So this is sort of how you trap the bug snacks. It's not like you battle them, you just kinda of try to figure out like what okay. what is it they can do. So like you, you can go scanning them like this. So it tells you over here, like mm-hmm. he hates he likes um cheese sauce and he likes bunger, ketchup. Bunger, bunger, bunger. And it gives you a little bit of a little synopsis of what he does and then you can kinda of click things to learn X-ray more. Traps. Okay. Um, so like he's really easy because this is like the beginning of the, like the first stage, so it's pretty easy to catch him. So you would just yeah. Do your, so what your... kind of sauces do you have? You have ketchup, you have cheese sauce, mustard. Yep, you, you, you have ketchup, chocolate, uh, hot sauce, hot sauce, peanut butter, <laughs> cheese, and then ranch. Um, <laughs> so ranch so I'm gonna get my ketchup out because obviously Bunger is like ketchup because who, who who doesn't know that you know? Um, right. So I'm gonna get my sauce here. I'm gonna throw some ketchup on the ground and watch what happens. Oh, I don't have. Oh, I don't have any ketchup. I'm gonna get some ketchup. You're out of ketchup. Oh. Where do you get? Here, I'll get some ketchup. From a ketchup plant? Yeah, yeah, of course, obviously. Okay. I mean, why, well, why wouldn't ketchup grow, we... grow on flowers, right? I mean, you are trying to capture a burger, a living burger. <laughs> so why wouldn't there be ketchup just lying around someplace? All right, you're making them really happy. You're sending some ketchup out into the ground. Oh, see now, mm. see this bug snack is what not the... like sauce. That's a that's a so sodi. He's freaking out. It's a sodi. Doctor. Doctor Sodi. <laughs> <laughs> so he's running away from the sauce. Yes. Yeah, so I'm gonna bring he my trap. Now to actually show you how you catch a bug snack, I'm gonna put the trap out here. Um, okay. And I will try to catch him. I think this is how you catch him. I always forget now. And then I go back to my so trap. You get your. All right. Oh, see, he knocked it away. He doesn't want me to do that. He doesn't like that. How do I get, how do I catch him? We got to figure that out. <laughs> that, that's that's the gist of the game. I'm just going to show you how it works. But you notice there's another okay. bunger over here. There's another bunger. So if I go I see. grab some more ketchup because I ran out. I mean, let's see what happens if I bring that bunger over to the other bunger. What do they do together? I wonder. You make it seem like Are bungers like. Japanese fighting fish or something? Are they gonna kill each other? Bunga, bunga, oh, bunga. Sodi, see, see, Sodi's messing with me here. Bah. Come on, Sodi. Oh, the poor Sodi. Mm. The soda is uh, right, looks fine. like it's you know uh, I'm dissolving catch- your ketchup. Yep, I'm gonna get rid. I'm gonna get rid of Sodi. What are you gonna do? Oh, Bunger hit me. Oh God! He <laughs> got thrown in the air by a burger. All right, come here. Oh, yeah, more ketchup. Yeah, I'm doing. I'm failing. I'm because if you were watching, this is why I'm doing I'm doing so bad. People are watching me. I'm gonna catch this bunger though. I'm gonna show what I'm. I'm gonna show that I know what I'm talking bunger, about. Bunger, bunger. All right, come on, bunger, come here, bunger. bunger. Come here, come on, car, car, come over here. Come over here. What's their like distance? Like, uh, what's a safe place to throw ketchup when there's a bunger? Not uh, for that sodi. Bunger, 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 bunger. Ketchuping that tree up good. Okay. Well, I'm not doing a good job at this. But pretty much, oh, I know I know how I go. I'm, I'm not thinking here. Let's do this. Let's, I could save myself some, some ketchup by doing this. I'm going to get my, my thing. So now he's the I got a ketchup ball. Oh, there you go. I almost, had, I, I almost had done it. There we go. And All right, Chibunger, pretty close. 
Look at what? that. These guys are adorable, though. Whatever yeah. you're trying to do to them, they're just adorable. <laughs> They've got the bungers have curly fry legs. I yeah, love it. I know. I'm doing horrible at this. I don't know why it's being so stupid. Well, this is very much like a let's play here. Like yeah. this is, you're just learning the game, even though this is a game you. There, I, that's you have to do this. So you get the ketchup on the other bunger. He knocks him out, and then I caught the bunger. Yeah. That's the that's the so that's that's one of them. That's that's how you do that one. So like then obviously you saw you saw how I can catch a sodi. I just couldn't get this trap. So let me get into my new trap here. I'm going to put the trap right here. And if I put this, any any he, what no, is he like? Uh, he just likes sauce in general. So like if you put sauce anywhere near Mount Asodi, um, they'll they'll come get it. But let's go somewhere else though. I'll show you the different areas you can do because there's some other funny. Uh, places and funny uh, bungers in, or pug snacks, not bungers. <laughs> so, well, if they're all like bunger, I, I, I think I'm gonna like this. So, Snacksburg. So, so Snacksburg is like sort of where the like the obviously the, all the characters live. The whole gist of the game is that you're trying first initially trying to get all the people back to Snacksburg because something happened. Their their leader disappeared. Um, okay. And you get them all back. So initially, when you start the game, all these all these buildings are barren. They're like completely like empty and gone. And then you're pretty much getting them back in. But like as you're doing it, you're feeding them you're feeding them bug snacks because they're obsessed with bug snacks. Uh huh. So like you you can just you keep feeding them food, and when you feed their food, it changes what they look like. So uh, you can describe what do you see so far? Like what do all you right. See? So it looks like well, this person with a mayor sash. Has got um, horns. It looks like they're. I, I can't tell what they're made of, but they've got an ice cream sandwich for a hand and maybe a coconut <laughs> yeah. for their other hand. Yep, he's a, he's a, he's like a baked potato for the body. Okay, well yep. that makes like a Let's one wrapped in foil. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I like the carrot dude. So you can kind of like you can kind of like change what they look like. So they'll do a quest like get me this kind of uh, bug snacks. I want to eat it because they're obsessed with it. Like they're addicted to them. It's like drugs. For this <laughs> island, um, like their tomato hands, and then whenever you eat them, hands. their body parts and their appendages just gonna change. Um, I just think it's just, a, just sort of a silly thing that they added to the game. You were saying that it seems like pretty nefarious, like the like the bug snacks themselves are like parasites. Yeah, well, yeah, that's what you find out. Kind of, just, yeah, just altering the in the end <laughs> the DNA of these. Oh, hello, banjo. Yeah, that's wiggle. Random banjo. That's player. wiggle. So they they all can they all can like they all have like dialogue and stuff. They all have different personalities. Um, like her cotton ball legs. But like it, it like you pretty much are like you're learning their characters and they they have like side quests as you're fi doing the main story. So that's like kind of the gist okay. of the game. And like you'll find that like if you scan like certain people, like he hates a certain person but loves another one. Like, you learn there's relationships between uh, them. Uh, so uh, you have to, like, it helps uh, you solve the puzzles and stuff like that. Um, Brinkle face dude there was pretty nightmarish. Oh, he was a kid. Yeah, oh I know, he was uh, ice cream. Was, I, uh, I think it's ice cream. I'm melting. So then you have, like, you have, like, and then each, all these bug stats, they live in different, different regions. Yo. Oh, okay. So, so there, there's, you have to go, you have to go and find them in the, these different, like, Yep, and I'm assuming like in different their climates. Yep, there's different themes of the food. So obviously here we're in like you know we're we're in we're in the countryside. There's a cabin and stuff. So you know, you know what do you do out in the woods? You you do oh, s'mores. You got a s'mores. Charme Charmello. Charmello. But the voices <laughs> are great. What is it? So she say like Charmello. Char Charmello. Oh my god, that's adorable. With its then, graham cracker wings. Yep, and then you got like uh, over here in the cave, you got a. Uh, Big Bobsicle. 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 Watch out. You've been frozen. Yeah. So, him, you have to figure out, like, how do I get... You can't catch him because he's ice. So, you have to, like... He's you have to, like, get pissed him, off all the time. You got to get him to... You got to melt it, right? So you got to melt, melt him up. So, you got to come over here, Bobsicle. To the hops. Take him to the hot spring. Yep. Come here. Come here. Follow me. Oh, you're not going to follow me? Really? Bobsicle. Bob, Bob, Bob. Really? You can't... You're not going to notice me? Something happened to him. The one he thing, looks like he's yeah, been the, enchanted. The, I know. The one time this game glitches on me is when I do the let's play. What's he doing? Usually he's falling he just, in love with usually something. Usually he just chases me. But uh, yeah, up here you got a, a Cinestale. 
you know, a, a Cinnabon. Cinna snail. Oh my god. <laughs> and there's a cookie. Oh, it um, seems... So it just to give an idea, like so, then, then obviously you have like a, a book of like quests to do. Um, eventually, you might, because there's a mystery on the island, so you're trying to find all the clues of like what happened to Lisbert, which is like the the, the person that's in charge. And then you start learning. Uh, you're actually a journalist. That's why you came here to get a story on bug snacks. And low funk bun. Yep. <laughs> I like these names. Snorpy Fizzlebee. <laughs> Floopty Fizzlebee. <laughs> like all Bethica Winkle Snoot. Yeah, and then the like Agabel. Rambus. Agabel Batter Nugget. <laughs> but then you notice Who like was somebody named Wangus. Yeah, uh, Wambus. 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 Wambus trouble um, ham. So after you get them back to the town, like you get to you get to do like an interview with them because you're a journalist. So you do like a interview uh, scene to learn, and you, you learn clues about who they are and, and things like that. Um, I don't know. The okay. game is just charming. Like, and I feel like it could it definitely make another one because there's only if I go back to my book here, um, you only have you have like all these these are all the different bug snacks. Mm -hmm. So you got like uh, you know you have boss Great ones too. Peter. Like, I don't know if you can redo these, but they're, like, gigantic ones. So you got, like, the big um, big watermelon dude. You got, like, a, the, 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 the Mega Maki. So, like, a Maki nice. roll. It's, like, a big I dragon. also love the, the... Yes, that's pretty sweet. I like the um, the ribs. Oh, the yeah. rack of ribs. Oh, let's go find a rib. That. Let's go find a rib. Let's go find a rib. They're, they're silly. Those looked pretty uh, funny. Like, uh, just walking around. Like, a rack of barbecue yeah. bear ribs or something. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so obviously I got sucked into this game. I, I decided to, you know, this, this it, when you finish the game, because I beat it, it brings you back to like, you know, don't, if I go to talk to him, I can do the end of the game. Oh, this guy okay. in my face. Uh, you, you, I can go beat the game right now, but after you beat it, it just brings you back here to do all the other side quests. But <laughs> I just like, you know, I was so close to getting the platinum for this game. I was just like, I'm just going to go do it. Why not? It didn't seem that hard. So I just, I just went for it and I have no regrets. No regrets. I, I cannot imagine they wouldn't be making a sequel or they're not already working on, like, a expansion or... Um, yeah, the ending kind of shows that they leave, they leave an opening at, like, at the end to, to, to allow you... Oh, there's Spuddy. Spuddy, Spuddy, Spuddy. Baked um, potato spider. Um, there's a... There's nice. a... There's a um, 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 uh, Matza Supreme. That's a big, gigantic, like Mothra-looking character. Oh, nice! Made of matzah? Like a pizza. It's a flying pizza. Oh, oh! I yeah. thought you meant like, like, like. Well, it's mozzarella. <laughs> yeah. But it's... No, not mozzarella. I meant like, like matzah, like uh, the big cracker. Matzah, like matzah ball soup. Oh, okay. Well, that's, that they that's make a, that's matzah right balls there. from. Moth, matzah oh, nice. Matza Supreme. <laughs> Looks like it could use a good slicing. Yep. Yeah, no, it's 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 a, it's a silly, funny game, and yeah, I could definitely see them making a sequel, nice. because um, the, the way it ends, um, I think they're gonna. Oh, there's the ribs. Oh. How do you catch him? Ribblepeed. Maybe some sauce. Uh, he likes. Uh, I think he likes. Hot sauce. Uh, let's see what it says. Yeah. Chocolate. Kind of surprised there isn't a barbecue sauce. I know, me too. Darn. Yeah, there you go, like this. You put this out. Here, I'll try it again. I messed up. I'll try it one more time. Scared him. And then, Scared him. And we'll 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 finish our bug snacks tour. Um, yeah, that'll be that'll be fine. Yeah. Go so ahead. <laughs> throw some throw some sauce. I did. Let's see if he gets oh. it. He's not he's not looking going to it. I don't know why. Oh, I changed it to cheese for some reason. There we go. Let's catch him up. And you have ripple, Got him. ripple peed. Ripple peed. <laughs> like obviously, so cute. it's all puns based on bugs and food. You know, mm -hmm. it's like, but like, talking to my to Amber, she's like, well, it's like, why is there no coffee ones? Like, there could be so many things that they didn't make. It's like, mm -hmm. there's, there's a lot. There's a lot that can do. I mean, I, I they're would... starting small. It's, it feels like this game is like they're starting small. They're seeing if people like it, mm -hmm. and then they're just gonna build on it from here. Yeah, like, yeah this definitely. is. This will be huge. Yeah, so there's all the regions huge. right there on Snack Tooth Island. Snack Tooth but, Island. But yeah, that's that's Bug Snacks. It's fun. It, I highly recommend it if you if you like these kind of games that are like 
puzzly collect collectathons, and it's like because you're really just kind of strategizing what would make, what what like how do you inter make them interact with each other? A little bit of a Pokemon Snap vibe. Obviously, you're sure. not taking pictures, sure. but you're trying to like like in Pokemon Snap, you would try to like get this this certain Pokemon to go a certain place to take the right picture, kind of a thing. So, so certainly, you're like you're luring, you're you know, playing bug snacks against each other. But, um, Interesting. Yeah. Okay, so you wanted to show this one as well. Huh? Yeah, we'll show this briefly, and then I think that's a good uh, sort of sampling of my first impression of uh, PS5. I'm sure more PS5. more more things to come. It's funny that my next generation uh, system are a bunch of little kid games slash well, I mean, kind of, you know. <laughs> so I don't as... think that's any anything wrong with that so far. Hey, games Mark's are Nexus games cool, are games are supposed to be cool. fun. But Astro's Playroom, um, the, uh, you might have you've never seen Astro before because uh, uh, they came with yeah. it. Uh, a, like, there was like a kind of a demo version of that in PS4 as well. Uh, Astro is becoming kind of like a mascot for PlayStation. Uh, I was gonna say it seems like uh, up until now he's been kind of like around, but now it seems like they're making him. Yeah, supposedly more like um, the VR game they made for for his character is awesome. It's like VR uh, Astro's rescue mission, but um, this is this is a really easy game to platinum. It's not long by any means, so don't think to think that I got two platinums. It's crazy that I I got two what two platinums my entire PlayStation career, and that's been like <laughs> since 2011, and now I just got two more in one week because nice. I just I got sucked in. <laughs> so. So here, here's uh, here's uh, Astro's Playroom, and it's just like a sort of a, a, a journey down memory lane, because you go to each system, like so each of these little hubs are of a different system. Um, so you can kind of, if you go to this one, I think it's all about the patient in three. If you go to like that one, uh, it's about patient four and so forth. But then, uh, eventually, you get um, you get a, a artifacts, which is what I thought I'd just show you what like the sh show you that room first. Okay. Um, cause it's just kind of a cool little nostalgia thing. Um, so if I go down here, you'll see all the different artifacts that you get in the game. So if you get all, you get all the PS4, oh, and you, nice. you, you start pushing oh, them, they, they turn on, there's the camera for the PlayStation 4. Ah, uh, yes. And I think, I think there's a little bit of a, a delay going on right now, but that's okay. I think you're getting the gist of it. Um, oh yeah. No, and there's like, you're punching stuff up. Yep. There's a, we're, I'm, I'm, so pretty much everyone that's listening, I'm, I'm going through, a little like arcade of like just of just like pretty much uh, PlayStation uh, peripherals all over the floor, uh, a couple mm -hmm. systems and things like that. Um, so you you can see like all the things that were made for the PlayStation Four, and then then all of a sudden you go to PS3. So then you'll see like the Vita, you'll see the PSP, um, yeah. You know all the different every single peripheral is in this PS4. It's it's so awesome. Oh um, my God, the uh, the motion controls. Yep. I, it, I don't even know what they were called. Move controls. Move controls. Yeah, the PlayStation Move, which you pretty much need those for. You actually need those for uh, VR. And then you got you're after the PS2, so you got all these little peripheral things. Oh. Um, there's the original. I, I always can forget that they had a camera for so long. They did. Yeah. I remember that camera. Yeah, it's called the PS. And, and it's like the is, I... is one of these just like the Ethernet thing that would plug into the back yeah. of the PS2? Yeah, I think one of these things. I'm not sure which one it is. Um, but uh, it's uh, they they try to like remember every single thing. It's a very like uh, nerdy kind of little place. Like I don't know if you've ever known this. I remember like people. I found this online once. I'm like, oh, I didn't know you could do this. You could spin the symbol on the PlayStation Two, depending on which orientation oh, yeah. it is. Yeah, and yeah, so you, I knew about that. So you can, when you, we first got like a PS2, like yeah, yeah that, that little logo moves. Like <laughs> yep. So you could punch yeah, if it. You, if, if you were the kind of person that had it upright, you could still like like just turn it slightly. Nice, nice. <laughs> There's a dude in there. Yep, and then so you got all the different controllers and and all that stuff. So then um, now you're in PlayStation One. You got the little portable one. You remember oh, that thing? Oh, the PSP. Yes. You got the the multiplayer, the four player. Oh, multi the multi tap, yep. dude. Yes, yep. the multi tap was very important. Yep, yep. And then it shows all the discs and stuff. I, I like this little thing you can do. Um, if you go you know, push that button, you just flip get the eject. Off. Nice. <laughs> what is that little like um, VMU type thing? Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's like, um, yeah, what is that? Uh, if you go over to this huh. guy, I feel like it's oh, it's PlayStation Portable. It's like I guess you could bring it along with you to do things. It's it tells you what it is over here. I don't. So this is like everything you can catch. 
just like a list of things. So I could probably oh, find out what that is. Uh, looks like it's this thing. Pocket, yeah, pocket, pocket station. station. Big in Japan. <laughs> so you can see all the little things in here. So, so, that's, so that's, that's just one thing that you, you get in the game. Uh, but the game is really fun. The, I mean, the whole point of the game, because you just collect these playing ga the game. It's not just like you're going around hitting yeah. a bunch of uh, PlayStation peripherals. You can see the, the, the shooting things in the sky there uh, hanging from the ceiling. Oh, yes. Yeah. Um, but uh, but the game itself is really cool. But obviously the biggest thing about the PlayStation Five is the controller is little, it's different. That's why it's not a Dual Shock. It's Dual Sense. And I don't know how to describe the feeling like of this game. Like when you play a game with a controller. I mean, I'm sure people have already read about it in a bunch of other places. But it's like once you get it in your hands, it's like oh that is weird. And it's what is it. Is it like a like constantly it, it's moving? Just, it's just so. I mean, you, you have had rumble for so long. It's almost like you forgot what it was, and mm -hmm. it's like you don't even notice the rumble half the time anymore. It's just sort of a thing. Yeah. Um, so like it just kind of like rumbles a lot more intuitively. Is the is the best thing I can describe. So okay. like um, like it like uh, I'm trying to think of a good thing. So if I go into this level here, I'm I'm jumping on this platform. It's like a like a speedway from episode two um <laughs> you know so so pretty much what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna slingshot here so and i go to this little slingshot and then i'm gonna fly in the sky with a with a the jet glider thing in a second so obviously you use the the touchpad the, the slingshot back and then yep. i'm gonna fly but as i go down slider and it's motion control too which it won't want me mm -hmm. i can't do that with my what i'm doing now but as i'm as i'm going by those uh ships the controller's subtly subtly vibrates and as i get closer it gets subtly subtly more vibrating and it oh it, so it's, it's like a, you're it, feeling the vibrations of other things in the world yeah but like it's like in, it's not just like in one central spot it's like oh the thing's on the left so i'm just gonna vibrate on the left of this oh part. so you feel okay so yep. it's a little bit more situational yep. to where your character is yeah so like and then so like if if i go if to you like, were if i go to go here ahead, go ahead. to give you a little yeah, bit yeah. more a different example too oh go ahead go ask your question sorry I was going to say, like, if you're, like, getting shot from the back and to the right, like, you'd feel that, like, in the, like, in the lower right hand of the controller. Yeah, I Like, guess some kind of vibration. That that could be, yeah, that, that's sort of kind of what it feels like. I'm not sure. I haven't had a shooting thing like that. But, like, here is one where I, I actually have to f use the touchpad to roll this ball. So I'm just like, mm -hmm. you know. Super monkey ball! Yeah, it, it, seriously. But, like, if I get to a point, oh, there's a little point later in this. I'm going to go here through this really fast. I think it's in this section. Um, I think it's later here. So, like, it's when the when the road here starts to get to, gets rocky. It gets rocky. So when I get mm -hmm. to the, like, I'm rolling on this ball on a really kind of, like, so here. So all of a sudden, if I'm on here, it, it actually would feel, like, very bumpy. Like, all of a sudden, my controller just feels like I'm actually going over, like, rocks. But also because the what works is that the micro you know they've always had microphones in the controller, is the, yeah. the 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 microphone along with the vibration they kind of work hand in hand, to make it even for feel more immersive. So as I'm rolling over this, it just sort of just feels like I'm actually going with bumps. And then when I go into the sludge, it completely goes away and it feels like it's slush. Yeah. It's just it, you get this feeling of the environment and what you're doing, uh, throughout hmm. it. So that's just that's just one example of the dual sense that I think is really cool. But then there's this other one, if I go to to this thing here, um, now one thing is interesting. Just, go ahead, yeah, go ahead. No, this is just so strange. Like how much of this is like how cool the the actual controller is, and like what the controller yeah. is actually capable of. It, it really makes it more fun. Like I feel like you're just you feel so invested. In, I think that's really got me too. Because like Bugsnax had a little bit of the controller. It, it felt. Like it had a, it, it was working with that whole mentality a little bit. Mm -hmm. So like mm -hmm. here, um, I don't know how I'm gonna do this because I'm not playing actually uh, connected to the thing. So oh, it actually works. Oh, cool. It still works even. Okay, cool. So like here, I'm just like kind of flipping the controller up and down, like left and right, to like yep. grab these okay. things. It's got a little motion control. But the eventually, there's a point in this where some of these things break. These little handholds come up. I'm a monkey right now going up a yeah. of a of a cliff. Yep, and, yep. and eventually these things like that I'm his handholds are, are, are breakable and the controller knows that and like all of a sudden the trigger kind of like has like a halfway point that you have to hit 
if you go past it, it clicks. Oh, it, like it's giving you like the like oh this could break. Yeah, and then if you, you click it too, uh... if you click it too hard, it like breaks the it breaks the foothold and you have to do it again. So oh it, it's it's so little it's like those subtle little things. I hopefully it it actually gets implemented. It's like it just people just don't find it's not worth putting it in or I don't know how hard it is, but uh, I can just, imagine this being really good for like stealth games too. Like when you like are trying to like walk very slowly or very carefully and if you like hit like if you step on a stick or if you step on something yeah like you can kind of like feel the pressure of like oh no i'm about to give my position away like i should ease off yeah. I, mean, I can see like how they could use this and in then, a variety of ways, especially just for like uh experiencing the environment you know like feeling things like changes in you know you know vibration or something big is heading your way you're like start, start, start to suddenly feel like oh what the hell is that? Like, I can hear, I'm seeing my screen shake, but I'm also feeling like, you know, my controller is getting, like, something is, uh, ah. odd. Um, but I was trying to do, I was going to show you two ways you're saying that. Like, the other thing that's happening, so if I grab this pole, mm -hmm. the, the, the trigger shake, just the triggers. This Just the triggers rumble when I, if I'm holding oh, this pole. Okay. So, like, right now I'm holding the pole, and I'm, not, I'm just dangling there, and it, it just sort of registers. Like, every time I let go, it just, like, it makes those triggers, like, shake. It's so it's it's so unreal. Sometimes, like I mean, I'm honest opinion, I think it's more different. There are times that it's kind of annoying, but I think that's few and far between. Um, I kind of feel, I feel like I like I feel like that's over kind of overdoing it a little bit with the rumble, but but that's you know. We're trying to show you what you can do with it, though. I mean, yeah. this this really is like the Astro's Playroom is just like this is what the controller can do. Yeah, yeah. Like but, uh, this is what you can do with this system now. But yeah, that's my first impression. I think it's a cool system. I I will obviously will let everyone know as I start playing more next gen games. I guess. But what are I you excited think... most about uh, coming, or, or at least playing for, specifically for the PS Five that you think it'll be really interesting with the controller, the system, the graphics? Uh, I kind of want to try like, Demon Souls. I think, as I said in the beginning, um, I know mm -hmm. you know we talk about you know, even we, if it's a remake, it don't matter. I've never played amazing. the first one. It looks great, but. Um, uh, I think Ratchet and Clank. I'm really excited for. That's like the next big thing. Oh that. my god! Yeah. I just just looking, just thinking about that, uh, the gameplay video of the portals. Like if that's the game, wow. Yep. That's yep. gonna be pretty interesting to see. But uh, but yeah, no, I think that was a good. I hope uh, hope you enjoyed your time uh, seeing the PlayStation Five. Uh, and, I uh, did. Okay. <laughs> I hope our listeners, <laughs> yeah. listeners and yeah. viewers did as well. Yeah. Hope right. you enjoyed our first, yeah. uh, our first dabble in the Let's Plays. Um, we're gonna be doing this more. Trust me. Yes. Yes, we will. But uh, I was excited to do this with the PlayStation Five, and uh, this has been playing favorites. I'm, I'm Paul, and I'm Justin. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye.